We're on our way to the lot, of course. And house. I will, sorry, we're on our way to the house now because it's house. It's, house. it's a whole house now. We can't say lot anymore. Everywhere I go, the people really want to know who I is and who I be. They stop and stare when they see me. All right, so now we are here at the lot or again, the house, I should say, because there's a frame. I'm trying to, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> um, and we're just going to go bless the house, basically just write some scriptures and some quotes on the framing of the house so that it becomes a part of the house when it gets, uh, when it's as it is finishing being built. Um, we forgot our marker, so we had to stop by the store and grab some. So we're gonna be writing in different colors today. Not all black, but that's all fine um so we are just now just trying to figure out what we're going to be writing i gotta protect my inner peace not everything will deserve my energy my steve jobs yeah i think differently i black out noise and all decoys are limit me yes and i'm fresh out the apple store the back secured i just put my airpods on i need time to recline be with my own yeah. thoughts pulling from deep down and into my own vault i find beauty in the melodies color in the harmonies life is like an odyssey don't want to be rude if i'm vibing don't you bother me music is medicine and this is cardiology yes Airpods on, can you feel the beat? I just wanna have good times. Airpods on, can you feel the beat? I just wanna have good times. Airpods is my talk cheap, but I wanna kill the vibe. Airpods on, can you feel the beat? Airpods on, can you feel the beat? Broke up with the radio. radio. Had to unplug from the stereo. Oh, now we got the vibe everywhere we go. Turn it up high, it's incredible line. Old school, so a slow jam. Two step or just my day. Just like Jenna, maybe Aaliyah. If I ain't got you, call me Alicia. And I see colors could fly. West Coast feeling like summer tonight. Joy unspeakable, I'm in a vibe. Wanna have a good time. <laughs> without having to actually sit in on any cases or listen to any um, any evidence. Yeah, I mean, we were there for uh, quite a bit, <laughs> but um, I mean, it could have been worse. We could have been there longer. We could have had to come back another day, but because all of the cases that we were called to look at were disposed of, we don't have to come back, which is cool. I got my little certificate saying that I was on jury duty today and my little debit card because the state of Georgia actually pays you um, $25 a day in per diem. Um, now my job is going to require me to hand this over to them because I get paid for jury duty anyway. But uh, yeah, so I'm headed back home now and I have a tax deadline coming up in two weeks. So while at any other point, I might've just went ahead and taken the day because I'm technically excused for the day, I gotta get back to work. So I'll see y'all later. You guys, today is Tuesday, November 2nd. And look what we got. We got the second floor framed out and has a sheathing on, everything but the roof. And we're gonna go in and look around really quickly. All right, so. So there's my office space. They still don't have that room framed out. Yeah, they still don't have that room framed out. Obviously don't have the stairs up yet, but. They got everything but the roof on and of course that framing, of course. Again, with the sheathing on, it looks very small. But again, I've been told that's part of the process. Once the drywall comes up, it doesn't look as small anymore. So yeah. So are these the stairs? I think yeah, those are the stairs. The okay, so they have the stairs here, they just, haven't put them in yet. Let me go around actually into the garage. Walk through my staircase here. So yeah, okay. So there's the staircase. 
the water heater is gonna go here on this pedestal. And then, like I said, the um, this is gonna be the powder room. Again, this is gonna be the flex space, which should come out to like right here. Should come out to like right here and up to that area. So it just needs to be framed out. And then the living room, sunroom back there, dining room, and then kitchen. Obviously this is not a walkway. The stairs will be right there where I just walk through. The stairs are gonna have wooden balusters. So that's why you don't see the knee wall out here because it's not gonna be one. And I can't wait till they put the stairs in so that we can get up there and see everything. So this room right here that we see uh, framed off, that's so the laundry room. And then over there to the side is gonna be a loft. And then, or maybe it's the other way. No, yeah, that's the loft over there. And then you're gonna walk through the bedrooms are gonna be here. The bedroom that's gonna be over my office is going to be my closet. The bedroom that's gonna be right here in the middle is going to be my workout room. Originally, it was supposed to be my nephew's bedroom, but I decided to make it my workout room because realistically, my nephews probably won't be at my house that often, so wouldn't need a whole bedroom, to be honest. And then that's gonna be my guest room. So I can't wait till we can actually go up there and I can show you guys that, but this is where we are so far and it's so crazy that literally just a couple weeks ago, we were looking at dirt on the ground. So let me take you back outside to my yard, my very cluttered front yard. Here's the house from the outside, framed so far. So we're headed to the house, of course. I can't even say the lot anymore. We're headed to the house. Because when we get to the house, we're gonna take a picture in front of the house. This is her. She wants to say hi to everybody. Um, we want to take a photo in front of the house. Um, this is gonna be one of the last times that my mom is going to be able to see the house in the process of being built the next time after this week that she'll be able to see it it's going to be completely done um so for those of you guys that don't know the story um, my mom actually works in the middle east and um she was in afghanistan <clears throat> uh, up until august and we all know what happened in August in the Taliban. And so she did have to evacuate, I say flee, <laughs> um, but she didn't have to evacuate the country. So that's why she's been here over the last couple months. And I mentioned in the last video that she was only here temporarily. She is now in, her, in the process of going back to the Middle East. Thankfully, she's not going to Afghanistan, nobody going to Afghanistan. Um, but she is headed back over to, you know, that side of the world. But um, she, we are- I'll, I'll be able to watch it. I'll be able to watch it. She's gonna watch my YouTube video. videos. Yeah. She's gonna see all the photos but and all the videos, person. but she's not gonna be here in person. We're on our way to the lot, of course. And house. I will, sorry, we're on our way to the house now because it's house. It's, house. it's a whole house now. We can't say lot anymore. We're on our way to the house. And of course I will show you guys what we see when we get there. So stay tuned. So we got here while they're still working. So not going in, cause I don't want to disturb them while they have nail guns up on high places, <laughs> but they got the roof up. They didn't have that up yesterday. They're currently right now working on the, um, the porch cover from the front, the front porch. Um, so, Yep, it does seem bigger and bigger every time we come out here from the outside. So I can't wait till I actually am able to get inside. Um, maybe tomorrow we'll come out a little bit later after they finish working. Cause yesterday we came out um, and this time they weren't working. So I figured it would be the same today, but no, they're still here. Some days they're here past six. Sometimes it seems like 
after four o'clock they're not out working anymore like them for the day so they also got to do some sheathing right there um and that's not a skylight so they're gonna have to i mean i would love for it to be a skylight don't get me wrong but it's not so they'll have to get that together and just a couple weeks ago that was also just a lot so they are really moving out here in this community trying to get these houses completed and even this one over here didn't have any framing on it yesterday so they are really moving i don't know why i said that like that but yeah <laughs> they're really moving this one didn't have anything up yesterday so that house now has uh some framing on the bottom this house over here they're working on the second floor in my house hi <laughs> in my house they're doing some inside stuff so we brought some gatorade for them so i'm going to go ahead and give them that so they can be hydrated because i don't need nobody fainting while they're working on my house i don't need that bad juju so i really want to sit here and watch them finish <laughs> for today but we ain't gonna do that we ain't gonna do that good morning y'all today is saturday november 6th um it's my nephew's birthday so happy second birthday to my juicy juice um and today is also the day that my mom is leaving me so we got a couple things that we need to do before we actually get her to the airport one thing is get all this recycling to the recycling center um the second thing is to go to the post office because i need to mail something we're going to have breakfast then we're going to go visit the house and then we're going to probably come back here for a little bit before she has to go to the airport but right now i'm sorting out all my recycles <clears throat> recyclables um some of y'all might not know this about me but i actually do like to recycle so we are getting all that done i gotta figure out where the recycling center is for the county that i'm going to be moving to because i'm moving to a different county if it's too far i might just keep coming to this one but anyway Got to get the recycling together. So I have a question. When you are breaking down boxes, do you actually break them down, like tear the seal, or do you just step on them to break them down? I tear the seal, and my mom steps on them. Why are you hiding? I'm not hiding. Just go ahead. <laughs> I'm just curious what other people do, because we do it differently. So... You're welcome, Earth. Today is Saturday, November 6th, which I think I've already mentioned that. Um, but this is what we have. So I came by here yesterday um, and I couldn't quite put my finger on why it was so different, but it's because they removed all of the support beams so now it's much more open and you can really see the space a lot more so again this is going to be my office space with the french doors here um so i really would prefer for them to keep like one big open window here but i know that it's going to be a double window um, I gotta figure out like exactly what I'm gonna do in this area. Um, this is the room that has been the hardest for me to picture what I wanna do. Walk through this door and there's gonna be the kitchen over here. As you can see, the pantry, the island. The island here 
Um, I'm going to do the additional overhang. I can't remember how much more space you get, but I did add, um, I did upgrade to have a bigger island so that I'm going to have chairs, three, maybe two chairs here for seating for, um, if I just want to eat here at the island. And of course the sunroom was an upgrade. We talked about that's where my, um, indoor garden will be. And then out here, this patio is an upgrade. Normally you just get like the little four by six patio, but I did go ahead and add um, the extended patio up here. So here's a better view from the house of my backyard. It's gonna go up to where that sod ends right there. All right, so let's go back into the garden or into the sunroom. And then you have the living area, which I don't know why they still haven't um, framed the flex space. So I got to ask my construction manager about that, why they haven't framed that part. The um, powder room here. So you walk in, there's going to be a pedestal sink and a toilet. And then there's going to be some shelving here. Um, there's going to be storage under the stairs. So there's going to be a um, closet right here. So you can see it's framed out to be a closet. And then um, they did have the option to include a mud room area right here. But my sales rep was like, that doesn't make any sense. Just buy a piece of furniture that can act as that. It doesn't make sense to pay for it. So I didn't. Um, so I'm going to be looking for another little entry. I don't even know if I want to do like a like a wall tree type of thing where you can like hang your clothes or hang your coats and stuff up. Or if I just want to do a bench or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out. And then as you can see, this house is not... Uh, framed for a fireplace because I did not add a fireplace because chimneys freak me out. But if I did add a fireplace, it would be like over here in the corner because there's going to be a wall there. But I don't like chimneys, so I did not do a fireplace. I'm going to add an electrical fireplace later. But then again, you can see that they framed out the top, the second story, but we can't get up there because there's no stairs. So um, I do want to ask them about this because I was under the impression that because I upgraded the balusters that I wasn't going to have this wall right here. So I don't know if this is a safety thing or if that really should not be there. So I'm definitely going to have to ask them about that. Um, but yeah, kind of sad that we can't get upstairs because I was really hoping with as quickly as they were moving on all the other things that we would be able to get up there since my mom is leaving today and I really wanted her to be able to um, bless the upstairs like we did the downstairs, but I'll have to do that myself. Uh, might bring some of my friends over and we can do that upstairs, but this is what we're looking like so far. And I will say, that it does look bigger. <laughs> I know I have mentioned like so many times that it looks so small, but it does look bigger without all of those support beams. Um, but I mean, until we get the walls up uh, with the drywall, we really not gonna know, have an appreciation of actually what size space that we really have. Um, I will say also that I'm a little bit sad that I did not do the bump out. I was told that I couldn't, but after, <laughs> Um, after further thinking about it, I think I could have if I did not have this. So I was told that I couldn't do the bump out because I had the sunroom, but I think the issue was I had a sunroom and the extended patio. And if I would not have done the extended patio, I could have bumped out the living room by four additional feet. So I'll have four more feet in the living room. And I don't, I would have been, I would have preferred that live interior living space than having the patio, which again, I'm not gonna be outside. So, you know, I did that for future purposes, but I would have been okay not having that, but being able to have that bump out. So something to think about, make sure you ask all the questions to make sure that you really can get what you want. That's the update for this week. Um, 
now leaving here, I am on the way to take my mom to the airport. So I just had to leave my mom at the airport. We knew this day was going to come. Um, like I said, she had to evacuate Afghanistan because she was there during the overthrow, the government overthrow. Um, and so while she was in Afghanistan, they were planning to move to another country anyway. They were just waiting for the... Which way am I going? I didn't want to south. They were just waiting for the approval um, for their visas to get processed, but they weren't processed before they had to evacuate. So that's the only reason they came home. So we knew that her coming home was temporary. We did. We knew that she was going to be leaving. We didn't know exactly how long it was going to take. Um, but we finally got the word that she had to leave today, which sucks because one, I don't want her to go <laughs> um, and you know she really I'm not gonna say she doesn't want to go it does get harder for her to leave the longer she's at home so anyway I'm on my way home um, I need to wash my hair I was supposed to wash it earlier this week but I just threw it in the ponytail um, and I need to work on some business stuff but I also want to record some videos for the channel so I gotta figure out what I'm going to do today and tomorrow. Um, next week I will be back at the house every day like I was this week or I tried to be this week. Um, I just really feel like at this point a lot of the work that's being done is stuff that I can't really see. Um, you know, once when you're putting up the frame and you're putting up the sheathing and you're doing all that stuff like you can see that those are big changes but right now since they don't have stairs in the house I, if they're working upstairs which i know that they were working upstairs the last few days um you know they get up there with the ladder obviously i can't go up there so i don't see what they're doing so until they really start to put the electrical in and the plumbing and the hvac and stuff like that you you know uh, until they put the stairs in. If, once they put the stairs in, I can go upstairs and I can kind of see like what room has been done and what room hasn't been done, what they're doing. But until, you know, they do that or like I said, the electrical, the plumbing and all that stuff, they, you really can't, you really don't know what's going on. You really can't see with your own eyes. You don't, they're not as big changes as they are um, with, you know, like I said, putting up the frame or even after all that's done and they put up the, the drywall and they bring in the cabinets and they put the floor down and they paint like those are bigger items that you can really see and i know there's a lot of stuff that they have to do that i can't necessarily discern because i'm not you know a tradesman so anyway so i'm not sure if i'm going to be adding anything else to this video because i'm probably just going to be at the house um but just in case i don't thank you so much for watching this video um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you can be notified whenever I post any more videos. Um, like this video if you've made it this far, even if you haven't made it this far. If you haven't made it this far, you wouldn't be listening to this part. But if you've made it this far, go ahead and like the video and um, drop a comment down. Say hi. Let me know what's going on in your world today. 